Hey everybody, Joe here from Style You by Joe. I'm here with a life skill today. One skill that they don't teach you is the fine art of tipping. Some people tip too much, some people tip too little, sometimes you just don't know. Who do you, who do you not? So, as a general rule of thumb, your barber, your hairstylist, a taxi driver, a waiter, a waitress, a massage therapist, a manicurist, a pedicurist, a barber. They should all get tipped anywhere from 20, or I'm sorry, from 15 to 20 percent. So, simple math on that is a hundred dollars, 15 percent of that. So, you're going to take 10, move the decimal point over. A hundred dollars becomes 10, half of that is five. Hundred dollars, fifteen percent is fifteen dollars, twenty percent is twenty. Now, if it's an odd amount, I go an odd cent amount. I always go to the next up dollar. If it's a low one, I go to the next down. So forty nine cents or lower if it's like a fifteen forty nine will be fifteen. If it's fifteen fifty one, I go to sixteen. Simple. So sixteen. You know, it's just easier that way. You don't have to think about it so much. So again, 10% of 100 is 10, 20% of 100 is 20. So 15% would be 15. An animal groomer. If your animal is easy peasy, anywhere from 15 to 20%. But if they've really got to get in there and, and they have a matted hair or they hate their nails to be clipped, go higher than 20%. If it's work for you that you don't want to do, it's going to be work for them. A bellhop, when you go to a hotel, is generally $2 for one bag, but if you have like more than one bag, it's generally a dollar a bag. Now, if you have, well, if you have a hundred bags, they deserve a hundred dollars. So a full service car attendant, you know, the people who bring out your cars, they split the tips. So a regular car, two to three dollars. If it's an SUV, depending on how big it is, go up to five dollars. Again, if you go there regularly, they'll take care of you. A limo driver or a party bus driver, general rule, a dollar a person. Remember, they're not there to clean up any messes you made. So if you leave them a mess, you might want to give them a little bit more. A wine steward. You're going to a really upscale restaurant. You don't know what to order. The wine steward comes over. He helps you out. You're going to do 15 to 20% of the total cost of wine. So if you order several bottles, be prepared to pay. Now let's say that they really spend a lot of time with you. They educate you. They go over, this is what you drink with this. This is what you drink with that. What do you like? They really spend some in-depth in time with you. Go 20 to 30. Again, they're giving you the knowledge that they have learned and paid to learn. Pay them for the knowledge they're giving you. Movers, light, easy peasy mood, 10 to $20 a person. But if you're moving a lot of old heavy furniture or there's just tons of boxes anywhere, be prepared to pay them up to $50. These are people that you're trusting to move your treasures and your memories. So now let's go to holiday tipping. For your um, handyman or learn lawn service guy, 15 to $50. Again, the easier the job that you give them to do, the less money. But, you know, if you have a lot of property or a lot of plants, that lawn service deserves to make more than just a $15 tip. The house cleaner and the pool cleaners, they deserve the total of one weekly visit. So however much you pay them per visit is what you should pay them for their holiday tip. The pepper, <laughs> pepper, the paper man, the mailman, or any person that you see on a regular basis like that, 10 to $30. Again, what they do for you should indicate what you're tipping them. A pet sitter, 15% of the total visit. Now, as always, if you feel the need to give anybody an end of year slash holiday gift, 
make it a small token of appreciation. It doesn't need to be overboard. It doesn't need to be grandiose. You could slip them a little bit of extra money. You know that the pet sitter likes this particular red wine that's not overly expensive, give that to them. Your barber likes this kind of whiskey, it's not overly expensive. Or if it is and you like your barber that much, feel free to do that. But it should be a small token of your appreciation. It's not meant to impress anybody, it's not meant to shame the other customers. Life skills. I really think that tipping, and again, tipping, Tipping appropriately is important. Folks, if this is your first time watching me, where the heck have you been? Please go to my YouTube channel, Style by Joe. Hit subscribe, cost you nothing, but I love to see my numbers go up. You can also follow me at my Instagram at Style by Joe. Facebook is Style You by Joe. Twitter is Style by Joe. I know, Facebook won't change it, what can I say? And please, 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 for their benefit and for my benefit, Share these videos with your friends. They deserve to be just as knowledgeable and just as stylish as you are. Have a stylish day. I'll talk to you soon.